Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to ball before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? Oh, come on. Who would fool themselves to believe anything but the latter? Idle minds, too lazy to think beyond the following of the herd. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition, an endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind. Now that isn't 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me, uh, this train. Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street. Bond Street. It's, uh, it's on the other platform. Thank Two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal wimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Care for the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Get something? Not exactly. Um, I'm sorry about before, you know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He was being an arsehole. <laughs> Think your boyfriend's an arsehole? Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? Just a little bit of light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. <sighs> Can I help you with something? I need a favour. 
I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <laughs> okay. He doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. It's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. I want to know why you need the car. We don't need to worry about that. Fine. I won't. <sighs> okay. I made a bet. A stupid bet that I could turn up at this party in a Maserati. That was rash. How much is the bet for? A grand. A grand? <sighs> a hundred of it is yours, if you let me have those keys. Two hundred. Okay. Three hundred. But it... You said two hundred way too quickly. Look, would you rather be a seven hundred up or a grand down? I'm trusting you, yeah? It's not free. <laughs> two hundred in cash tonight. In cash tonight. I'm good for it. Fuck. What? It's nothing. Not a scratch, not a stain, nothing. All right? You fiddle with your lipstick outside of the car and you wipe your shoes before you get in. Anything else? Yeah. You're back here by one, not a minute later. Yes, sir. What do you want from me? I want you to tie her up. Get in the car. My oh, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're going to do. Back here. Fuck! Hey, aren't you the guy from the car park? Listen, let me give you a ride. There's no more trains going from there anymore. No, I'm all right, mate. That's my train. Not anymore. Oh, shit. Get in the car, sunshine. Get in 
the fucking car. Money. My family's got no money. What am I to you? A problem, that's what. You know the guy broke into the garage, don't you? Maybe. I didn't see his face, okay? I can't identify anyone. But you can identify me. Just relax. Who's the baggage? It's fucking mistake. What the hell happened in that garage? The carabiner failed. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place. Letting an eyewitness get away. I got the car, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive it? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. He needs to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. Look, I, I don't know who you guys are or what you're up to, okay? I'm not gonna say anything to anyone. Well, it's not gonna take you long to figure it out, is it? Well, no, not if you keep talking in front of me, it won't. It'll be on the news, smart ass. Let I'm not a murderer, I don't intend to start now. <sighs> Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. Diffinoxin, what the fuck is that? Guess would have had headaches like you. A whole stilt, making things worse. <laughs> Your headache's gonna start the moment you knock me out. And why is that? Because your mate on the couch there, he may have brought you the BMW, but he's brought it here with a valet key. A valet key, what the fuck is that? It's a parking key. It means you can't drive faster than 35 miles an hour. Not great for a getaway car, is it? And why do you think it's a getaway car? Your face. Is this fucking right about the key? It puts a block on the electrics, but we can sort it. No, you can't. You can't do it without triggering the immobiliser. But I can. Well, you can. Yep, certainly can. Looks like you just bought yourself a ticket and bought this operation. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. Okay, let's get set. And what do I get in return? Don't push your luck. Five grand for unlocking the car, and as of tonight, I'm out of a job. So I want a full share. There is no share. I'm taking his risk. So I want his share. Fuck off. Shut up, idiot. I'll be worth the money. Okay, I'll tell you what, you two split 50-50, that's the deal. Done. You can't do this! It's done. Put this on. You're joking. We'll find you something. So what do I do next? 
Do I go along with this and then try and turn him in? Or do I keep my mouth shut and take the money? Mystery ladies and difficult choices. So much for the quiet night. I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of the family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. We're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Who's fooling themselves now? A crime still a crime. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. 9.20, thank you. I see you. 9.30, again to my left. left. 9.40, do I hear 9.40? 9.40, thank you, sir. Looking for 9.50. 9.50 to my left. Do I hear 9.60? Fair warning. I'm selling. 9.50 once, 9.50 twice. So, for 950,000 pounds, this marvelous 12th century cabinet with its Hidden compartment, which is 150 grand for its time. Just try to keep it powder dry. Eh? I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? So we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tran. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three simply beautiful pieces remaining here. examples okay, great. of the red now. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece, the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Shit, he can't afford it. What did we say about that? Okay. And so, we shall begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm looking for. Thank you, sale price, don't on the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Please Thank you, stop bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir. It's your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for. Nine to the lady. Thank you, madam. Christ, 
I'm right. looking for 9-5, ladies and gentlemen, 9-5. 9-5? 9-5 to my right. So do I hear 10? Matt, stop this. Don't talk to him, talk to me. We're looking to break 10. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your fucking 10 we mind? have. We are at eight figures in the room, ladies and gentlemen. 10 is your bid, madam. It's against you now, sir. So do I hear 10-5? You are so getting lumbered with this. 10-5. 10-5 I have. Thank you. Now do I hear 11? Eleven I have with the lady. I'm gonna Again, have a thank time. you, madam. Do you have a Eleven, it's this? your bid, madam. Yeah, got feeling. Eleven, okay. so. Because you know, price we have eleven five. Logarithmic curve, derivative eleven approaching five. zero. So the chances of getting away with another your bid are At eleven, madam. What is eleven five? Half percent. Trust me. Eleven five. Eleven five I have. Thank you very much, sir. Eleven There's five, no it's your bid. It's against you now, madam. It's against you, sir. Eleven five. Eleven five with you, sir. Fair warning. I'm selling. 11.5 once. 11.5 twice. 12 million I have. Thank you, madam. 12 it is. So do I hear 12.5? 12.5 I'm looking for. 12.5. It's your bid at 12, madam. Looking for 12.5. 12.5. 12.5 I have to my right. Thank you, sir. 12-5. So do I hear 13? It's against you now, madam. 12-5. Are we all out? At 12-5. Fair warning. I'm selling. 12-5 once. 12-5 twice. So, to the gentleman on my right for 12 and a half million pounds. Thank you very much. Let's get the hell out. You see, the wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, well, mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. OK, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. We're a couple, remember? So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Out of all of the probabilities, how did I end up here? Simon gives the word, move out to the middle of the corridor and wait for the guard to come to you. Just say you got lost looking for the box. Simon, freeze the guard's image. He's not going to believe that. I'll handle that. Ready? Yeah, ready. Go! Alert the guard or let this play out. I might not get another chance. Where did you come from? What's wrong with this? It's not your monitor, mate. There are thieves inside the building right now, and they've hacked into your security system. You stay there. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Everything okay, mate? If you're clear! 
There's a robbery in progress in the basement. Send help. Frank? No, of course I'm not fucking Frank. Send help. Simon, get in the lift, I'll call it down. May Ling, we need to come out the front, bring the car to the front of the building. Copy that. I'm in the lift. You fucking idiot. You could have been fucking rich. Look at this mess. Let's go. Okay, everyone! Open the door. Open the fucking door! Come on! Open the door. Open the door. It's open! You, come with me! Come on! In there. Let's go! Fucking mind think I could trust you. You're a dead man. You should know this. Yeah, like you said, you're not a murderer. Well, I don't think Lee would have a problem with that. I mean, why the fuck did you agree to do this? I thought you wanted in. I wanted to avoid a needle in the neck, mate. Yeah. Big mistake. You fucking idiot. the others. In. Jeff, where are the others? Ask him. Let's get out of here. Nothing here. Nothing there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in society. Let me see it. I want to see the bulb. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Wu's place and he turns it into money. Too fucking right. You gotta take a left. Some Shoreditch High Street. Hong Kong City restaurant. It sounds classy. What are we gonna do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop him. Hey, that's not what we agreed. Not here, just keep him quiet until we get rid of this bowl. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Mei-Ling. Mei-Ling, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we've got to get out. All right? Fuck. Let's go. 
What about the others? Oh, they're dead. They're all dead. Come on. We need to get away from here. Where are we going? We're going to take this bolt to the police where it belongs. What? You heard me. Are, are you out of your mind? Oh, look, I'm not a criminal, all right? You think the police will believe? You were seen in the auction house. You are a criminal. No, no, I'm a security guard and I'm bringing the ball back. You're an accessory, plain and simple. So what's your plan? We have to take this to Mr. Wood. Oh, come on! How do we know he wasn't behind this accident? We take it to Mr. Wood, that's the best option. Or we turn ourselves in, we're both accessories to a major crime. Which is it? Welcome to Hong Kong City. Table for two. We're, uh, we're here to see someone. Table for four. Four on me, please. It's going well. Excuse me. We, uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Bar this way. Four on me, please. No, no, no. Mate, mate, mate. We want to see the manager. You want to see the manager? We want to see the manager. You're not even eating? No. The health inspector? No. Look, it's Mr. Wu here. Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, yeah. Never heard of Mr. Wu. Well, how about the Queen, mate? You heard of her? Memory clearing. You listen to me. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, or you can pay the consequences. Okay. You? Wait right here. Have fortune cookie. Fortune does not come twice. Misfortune does not come alone. I didn't know any better. I'd say you picked that one on purpose. What does yours say? Not tell him. Four on me, please. Tell me. No. Could they while you're gunning your yet on my gong? That's him. Go on. What's your business? <sighs> Lord. 
攞西，呢、這个咪蔡家嘅碗。Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead. Okay, that's why we brought you your ball. My ball. Ah, Tom. Turn by each other. Managing to steal that ball—it's quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place is nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order—not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that ball is not only madness; it is also suicide. To the Choi family. Possession of that ball is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. Its price is beyond measure, and I know how much they paid for it tonight. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out! If you know how much they paid, then you know your twenty percent is a lot higher than you thought it would be. You want us out of here because you don't want to pay what you promised. I did not order its theft. The only order I am giving is to you: get out of my restaurant. No, fuck you. You owe us money, and you know it. You made a deal for this. Take it. We don't want it. Goodbye. We will not meet again. Fuck you. Come on, Matt. Let's go. Fuck you. <sighs> Fucking great. I still want to know what my fortune cookie said. Sure. A young man may trust his ears, but a wise man trusts his heart. Did you know about the choice? How dangerous they are. You fucking did, didn't you? You knew everything Wu just told us, and yet you still bid against them and stole that damn bowl. This doesn't really help us, does it? It was the choice that ran us off the road. We need a plan. What do you suggest? Hiding until we come up with one. I know a place. No. No, we go to the police, Mei Ling, like we should have done in the first place. That's a terrible plan. Well, it's better than hiding away from the inevitable. Look, we need to get rid of this bowl before the choice get rid of us. If we take it to the police, they will arrest us. Not for definite, no. I'll make it an even fifty percent. You do realize your calculations and my gut are doing exactly the same thing. You just need the numbers to make you feel better. My numbers are based on the information that we have, yeah, and rational mathematical algorithms. Well, my gut feelings are based on experience and my entire subconscious. Do you know how many percent of your brain's activity are conscious? Probably less than one. Now that's a percentage. So trust me when I tell you that going to the police is a bad idea. No. No, I'm going to the police, Mailing. You coming with me? You want to take the damn thing to the police on your own? Be my guest. Oh. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Pass the buck. You know you might still get killed.
Now let me get this straight. Earlier tonight, you were forced, against your will, to take part in a robbery. And now returning the proceeds of said robbery to the authorities. Yeah. And what exactly is it that you were turning? It's a Chinese porcelain bowl. Stay there. I'm under arrest. Not yet. You allege someone forced you to steal this? Yeah. They threatened to drug me. Threatened to drug you? Convenient. I'm telling you the truth. We'll be the judge of that, sir. Like you said. So you claim that you were blackmailed by other members of this gang, all of whom it transpires are now dead, into stealing this antique bowl from the Hamesworth auction house. That about right? Pretty much, yeah. This uh, robbery occurred over two hours ago. It took you a while to locate your conscience, didn't it? It's been a complicated night. That it has. We went to see this Chinaman who was supposed to have hired them to steal the bowl, but... We? What? You said we went to see a Chinaman. You told me that everyone else had been killed in the van explosion. There was a girl. Oh, you do surprise me. Where's she at? I don't know. Again, convenient. Now, why don't you tell me why you stole this bowl? And who you stole it for? I've told you. It's for this guy, Mr. Wu. He runs a restaurant in Shoreditch. That's all I know about him. The Hong Kong City and Shoreditch High Street? S so you've heard of him? Tony Wu was found murdered in the back office of his restaurant less than an hour ago. What? And you openly admit having been there tonight. He was alive. When you got there, maybe. How about when you left? Mr. Thompson, are you refusing to answer my questions? He was alive when I left. That is God's honest truth. Either way, it doesn't look good for you, does it? I didn't kill him. Yeah, and I had no choice in the robbery. I I've come in to help. What more do you want me to do? I want you to talk to somebody. Do you recognize this woman? What the fuck is this? What do I have here? Answer her. It's the Chinese bowl we stole from the auction house tonight. No, it's not. Even though it fools the eye, I must admit. Which is why we rely on an effect called thermoluminescence. It's used to determine when the porcelain was fired. The bowl was created during the late Ming Dynasty, somewhere between 1368 and 1644. So it should be... A between 647 and 371 years old. I guess that's about right. But unlike the bowl I examined this evening, this thing here is less than five years old. So where is the original? Hey, where is it? Fuck. Yes, I dare say. Start talking. To a solicitor, no one else. Appreciate you coming down, Miss Tran. We'll keep you informed. Matthew Thompson. I am arresting you on suspicion of armed robbery and on suspicion of the murder of Tony Wu. What the fuck? 
You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention when questioned something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Look, when I left that building, we was alive. You've got to believe me. Tell it to your solicitor. Vehicle 721 in position on City Road. Copy that, 721. Please hold until further notice. Where are you taking me? CID at Knightsbridge. They want you to talk them through the robbery. If you want my advice, I'd help them do it. Start getting a few plus points on your record. Get a year or two off your sentence. I can't believe it's come to this. Where did I go wrong? Where did I make the wrong choice? Where is it? I don't know. I don't. I don't know where it is. We've all had a very long night. If you don't come to your senses, I can assure you that yours will come here long. How about the music? I think I got to know again. Too many people. This thing is so long. I don't think it's us. Can we talk? Where's the ball? I haven't got it. Lies. The police informed us. The rightful owners. About what we've done. Where are you hiding it? Oh, look, I haven't got your fucking rice bowl. Or... Disrespect, we're punished. Now for the final time, where is the ball you took from the auction? Not the copy you brought to the police. The original. The original ball that you stole. Where? You've got the wrong guy. What the fuck is that? We know where the ball is. You and your lady friend. Next door. Both of you know. One of you will tell. What have you done to her? So you admit to your partnership with her? I never met her before tonight. Okay, I, I was part of the robbery, but it wasn't my choice. I, I don't know anything about, about fakes or forgeries or, or anything else for that matter, okay? A as far as I'm concerned, the bowl in my pocket was the real bowl. He got me. Who embarrassed you? Go down, I've been. Me, Moos, or Tao Hina. Gong! I've been, though! I don't understand what the fuck you're saying to me. Bowl equals pain. The longer you have bowled, the longer you have pain. Very simple mathematics. <laughs> Fuck! Fucking hell. No, I haven't got your fucking rice bowl, okay? <laughs> Fuck! I don't care if you have it or your girl. The bowl is ours. First to tell the truth is free. The other is punished. The classic prisoner's dilemma, game theory first term. Whatever I tell them lives or dies on what Mei Ling tells them, and vice versa. 
If our answers are inconsistent, one of us dies. Choose. What? Choose punishment. Know your fate. The long one. Good choice. Very honorable death. One turn and it twists your intestines like a key. Death comes slowly over a long, long time. <gasps> Great. Where is the bowl? The original bowl. Can I trust her to be reasonable? Or will she keep quiet? Because if she does that, she dies. Look, look, I am genuinely telling you. Okay, I know nothing about swapping the original for a fake. Okay, I, I was forced to be part of the robbery. I had no choice. I, I, I knew nothing about the plan apart from what to do next. Th there is nothing I can tell you that's of any use. Y you're just wasting your time with me. That's the absolute truth. Gong Taiwa. Oh, <laughs> Where is the original? Do we repeat? I don't know. Second round, like I thought, the girl kept quiet. Where? <laughs> Fuck. She following the strategy. If I get this wrong, the mailing gets one of those knives through the stomach. And so do I. I don't know. What can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> this can only continue. Where is the original? Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> every finger, then every knuckle, continuing every joint. You will see daylight, but still, it will continue. Where is the original? Christ, that girl's tough. Do I even believe that she's in there? Is she a part of this? Is she a part of the gang and they think that I'm the only one who knows where the original is? Am I just prolonging the inevitable? Fuck. Fuck. Do I trust her? Then I'll see you in the fucking morning, mate. <laughs> The lady says you lied to us. That you're the only one who knows where it is. Oh, for fuck's sake! Can we please speak in fucking English? I didn't say you're the only one who knows where it is. I said you're the only one who can get to it. It's okay. decided. You bring us the ball, she stays as hostage. If you fail, she dies. <laughs> it's Paul. He's the one who fucked us. He fucked us all. How do you know that? Because I'm the one who forged the copy for him. Oh, fuck me. Enough. Time to go. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I'm sorry. Where's the original? I don't know.
Okay. Okay. Pa. I have to make this fucker pay for what he's done to us. What the hell is he playing at? Rich fucking bastard. What the fuck am I doing? Am I really doing this? All right. Just keep walking. Just keep moving. Fuck, I really have no time for this. Boy looking for a fight. No interest, sorry. Okay. Mate. Fuck off. I got a bus to catch. You got a bus to catch, have you? <laughs> like a limousine if you ask me, smoke boy. <laughs> for the police. That's okay. We're just having a laugh, aren't we? Huh? Yeah, yeah, sure. Lily chucked me. Shit. The auction guy Jeffrey nearly strangled. He had access to the bowl after the expert on stage had it, right before we stole it. Right. How do I find him? Sorry to call this late, but um, it's Sebastian at home. Uh, who's speaking, please? It, it's um, it's Stan from work. I, I heard he was in an accident. Is he all right? Is he at home? No, no, he's not well. He's been taken to the hospital. He has a serious concussion. It's horrible. Um, I, I'm really sorry to hear that. Where did they take him? They took him to St. Thomas's, but they won't let me visit until the morning. St. Thomas's, thank you. I'm really sorry this happened. Don't worry, it's not your fault. I'm sorry though. All right, let's pay this poor guy a visit. can see. Um, I thought you had some party to go to. Some bet for a grand? Why do you think I'm back here doing an extra shift? Oh, I'm sorry you got involved. Well, what was I doing there anyway? <laughs> what brings you here? Um, uh, I'm here to see someone. Can you tell me what room Sebastian the Clark's in, please? Is he here? Uh, no. Uh, no, Sebastian Leclerc, I'm afraid. Maybe they took him to Guy's. That was a lie. Excuse me? <sighs> Just like you lied in the garage? About Dr. Brent knowing you were taking his keys? But I also saw the FBC and the lineage. So what would you like me to do? Fine. I'll try the other desk. Wait. And what about oh, shit. Will that be OK? No? She can't tell you anything because he was brought in by the police. She won't be able to tell you he's on the seventh floor, and she certainly won't be able to tell you he's in room 703. If 
Thank you. For what? I didn't tell you anything. They won't let me use the internet. Oh my God. That's how we got the ball at the auction house. Shouldn't be here, nurse. No. <laughs> no. Now you listen to me, mate. I'm a peaceful man. Okay, I do not want to hurt you. But if you try that shit again, I swear to God, the bits of you at heart are gonna get a whole lot worse. Do you understand me? Do we have a deal? We oui, yes. Good. Now tell me about your deal with Samuel Parr. I know you replaced the Boston Raspberry with a forgery. That's a lie. Do you want to discuss that with the police, mate? Perhaps have a little gander at the surveillance footage with them. <laughs> They've already seen the footage. Of the robbery, maybe. But what about the footage of you after you left the main auction room? Of where? <laughs> the elevator? There is no footage from there. No, but that's why you switched in there, isn't it? And a camera must have seen you. Even if you do back to it. And if people know the truth, be clear to see what you were doing. Peter, what do you want? What do you want from me? Where's the original? Does Paul have it? If I tell you, you have to promise to tell no one about me. You're kidding, right? If you don't promise, I tell you nothing. I don't have time for this, mate. Just you and me now. Now where's the fucking rice bowl? It's the last time I'm gonna ask you nicely. Okay. Okay. I swapped it. I swapped it in the elevator. The original with the forgery and I hid it. The cabinet. Paul's cabinet I bought an auction. There was a secret compartment in it, right? Yes. Is that where it is? Is the bowl still inside? I don't know. This is the truth. The security took everything to the safe storage after the robbery, and they brought me here to the hospital. Safe storage. So it's still inside Hainsworth. Yes. Oh, painkillers, thank Christ. Will this get me into the vault? Yes, if you can get to it, yes. I was never here, right? Yes. And you never heard about a hidden compartment. Get what soon? Yeah, yeah. Come now.
Yes, in reception. Mr. Quinn is in room 13. What do you think you're doing? Your colleague let me in. Who? Mr. Quinn. Mr. Quinn? Mr. Quinn, yeah. <sighs> Wait here. Going down? Yeah, thank you. Ground floor? Car park. You don't work here? Picking up. Mr. Quinn sent me down. Oh shit, do I look shifty? The, the car park's just through those doors. Thank you. They're gonna fucking kill you. I can't you do that anyway? We need to prove to them that this was past plan right from the start. <sighs> Any suggestions? We need to get part of this. Salsi. Salsi, no. Mei Ling. Fuck. Mei Ling. Mei Ling. Fuck. What do I do? Do I risk going to Pa's house to get us both out of this? Or do I take it to the choice? Now's my chance.
No, I can't leave her to die. How could I live with that? I just need some kind of plan. Not you, mate. I want to speak to the chief psycho. Good morning. I have an appointment with Samuel Parr. Oh, Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. Oh, he'll want to see me. Want to see me right now? Wait here. Wait, you can't. Mr. Parr? Uh, thank you, well, I... I'll deal with this. Who are you? I'm here to tell you that unfortunately Mr. Leclerc failed to carry out his task. What the hell are you talking about? The bottle that was taken from Hainsworth tonight was a real one. Forger never left that compartment. Where is it? Where is it? Catch. Don't worry. Just a copy. You don't think it'd be so stupid to come in here with a real one, do you? Where's the original? Mailing has it. What does she want? I don't know. Ask her. Clever little girl, aren't you? Not just a pretty face. We need to adjust a little deal. How much? Half the selling price. 6.25 million? <sighs> I'd consider keeping the copy for that. Then I might consider telling the choice. You fucking little bitch! Don't get on your high horse, Samuel. You tried to kill us all in that car crash. And what about your bimbo? Bimbo? <laughs> He's going to watch you transfer the money into my bank account. Then he's going to walk out of there and bring you the original. It's done? It's done. Now get me my original. Okay. My friend is going to fetch it for you right now. What the hell? Mate, he knows. Are you outside the house? Mate, get out of there now. This is the bowl that Pa tried to steal from you. This is yours. It's got nothing more to do with this, all right? Uh, just... just wait! Bailey! Help me! Please! What's he going to do with him? Discuss the nature of Chinese heritage. Chances. Fuck the chances, that's what I say. <laughs> 